All right, I'm sitting here inside a, uh, what's it called, a, a yunt, a yurt, unit? A yurt. A yurt. In, our, in our American culture. Yeah. <laughs> in American culture, right. Well, um, first time I have been in a yurt, I, mu- I must admit. I'm sitting here with the Cold War Kids at the Falls Festival. Uh, and let me remember the names again. It's Nathan, Nathan, Nathan and Mark. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, first off, I'm asking everyone this one. Uh, is this your first time in Tassie? First time, yes. First time, and for, is it f- not first time in Australia though? It's fourth or fifth. I don't, I can't remember. I think fourth. Maybe four, yeah, I don't know. Fourth or fifth. Yeah. Okay. Um, now you guys are from uh, Long Beach, California. That's right. Um, can you just tell us? I mean, I know it's kind of near Los Angeles. Can you tell me a little bit about Long Beach itself? What it's like there? Yeah, it's kind of a port town. Um, it's kind of next to Orange County, L.A., San Diego areas. Um, City Beach. It's kind of a place where we all lived there because it, it's cheaper than a lot of surrounding areas, and it was kind of a place where we had a lot of friends congregate, uh, all kind of move there. And um, We actually have all since moved to L.A., uh, but Long Beach is kind of the place where we uh, were based because it was... Um, I don't know, it's a very comfortable place. A lot of, we have a lot of friends like from college that all kind of like, you know, a tight group and so cool. Yeah. Is there much of a I mean, we know about the Los Angeles music scene, but is there much of a music scene in Long Beach? Mm, yeah, there's there's bands that uh, we, we have a, a a good friends band called We Barbarians. They're really really good. They've um done some touring with us. I have a friends band Tijuana Panthers. They've uh they're pretty good. Yeah. Good stuff. Now, like, uh, tell me about 2010. Um, I assume that you've uh, spent a significant part of it uh, working on the new album. Mine is yours? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we uh, were in Nashville, Tennessee, recording it for a couple months and then finished it in L.A. several months later. Um, so, yeah, so much of it was just preparing for and uh, recording and... Um, and, uh, yeah, w- w- previous recordings we had done much faster. We'd... Um, written and gone to the studio just for like a week or two at a time for the f- first and second record and so we wanted to spend a lot of time on this um and really get it right so yeah it'll come out in january we're very excited about it cool uh just a do you know the release date in australia for those at home uh, i don't know it's a uh, 25th of january uh in the u.s europe uk so i oh, will be pretty close to that i'm yeah. sure now if my sources are correct um you've worked with a producer called is it jaquire king uh, Jaquire, yeah Jakir King, and uh, he's worked uh, for artists such as Modest Mouse, Tom Waits, and the last Nora Jones album. I mean, what was that experience like? It was really good. He, our, our a friend from Modest Mouse, actually recommended um, Jakir and us working together, and uh, he was he was really really hit the nail on the head. It was it was good. Um, he he was very um, he's he's really good at um, kind of letting us figure out like what's already inside of us, and he was a really really sweet and patient guy and he 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 worked more as like a kind of steered us and guided us rather than like you know come in he didn't like come in with ideas and say here's my ideas he, he like let us found our own our own way and uh it was a really really good experience and i'd love to work with him again yeah great and uh now your second uh lp loyalty to loyalty um again uh had a somewhat darker vibe uh, you could say than robbers and cowards what can we expect from the new album um, this one is definitely a break from that. I think uh, loyalty was, uh, um, definitely came. Yeah, definitely is a kind of a darker vibe and was a little more abstract. Um, and uh, this third record is much more personal. And I think uh, I think it kind of musically is much more ambitious and and uh, uh, let's see more more kind of just thought out and um, and. Uh, and yeah, lyrically is is much more personal to me. Kind of stories that are more about uh, my life and and the group of friends around us and everything. Um, a lot of like relationship stories, commitment stories, and um, so yeah, it's a, it's a big, it's very it's di- different for us for sure. Yeah. Cool. How much uh, new stuff we're gonna hear uh, today at Falls? Uh, probably about half our set, maybe, maybe a third of our set. I don't mm-hmm. know, five, yeah, six, five, four, five, yeah. six songs. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, now you're also kind of renowned for putting on a fairly engaging live act. Now you see a number of indie bands these days refusing to make eye contact, uh, looking at the ground. 
How is how important is it for you guys to engage a crowd with your music? Um, you know, I, I, I think that deep down I believe that if we are having a great time, then the crowd is really engaged. And so I guess it's um, the connection between the four of us, uh, when that really happens, um, I think we draw the audience in. Uh, so yeah, it's really important for us to connect with each other, I think. And then, uh, and as a result, the audience, yeah. So it's it's not something you actively uh, try and do. It it just kind of happens there yeah, on stage. Yeah, no, it is it is something that you you want, but it doesn't start with kind of going outward. It starts with going inward. I think uh, with the band. Yeah. Okay, great. And lastly, uh, obviously the new album isn't too far away. So 2011 is it going to be a big year of touring? It will be a big year of touring. Yeah, we're, uh, we'll be all through Europe in uh, uh, February and March the US and um, yeah, it'll be, we, we're, we have high hopes for this record and we hope that um, yeah it'll do well and be, it, that a lot of people get to hear it and uh, we're excited about it yeah. cool and any time to perhaps take a break and see some of Tasmania or Australia while you're here I don't think there's any time at all I think this is a 4am wake up call <laughs> yeah there's yeah. flights every day mm. No, no hanging out this time. Last time we came down, we we got to go to different parts of the city and stuff, and in Sydney and Melbourne, but not this time. Okay, cool. Well, I uh, I'll stop there because sounds like you guys probably need some sleep. Uh, <laughs> but good luck today. Break a leg, Thank you. and um, thanks for talking to us today. Yeah, yeah. Cheers.